Welcome back to another video. This is the fresh installation of our alien vault. Uh, awesome. So what are we going to do is we are going to do the initial configurations. For example, we have the dashboard analysis. For example, let's go into the sim solution. In here, you can see that you have sensor alien vault. For example, if you had multiple sensors deployed in different regions or different departments, you would have been confused with that what is the name of this server sensor and where, which log is going to which sensor. So uh, keeping that in mind, we're going to the administration. No, sorry, we will go to the deployment and we want to differentiate between all those things that are happening on the server side of it or the sensor side of it. Since we are deploying awesome at a smaller scale, we are using the all in one and in this one, you won't get to know which is which. So for example, in the sensors, I'm gonna name it, look at this, it name alien vault. So is the name of the server. So I'm going to say it, modify AV sensor similarly for servers okay modify AV that server and there you go AV server, AV sensor, okay. Now when you go to the SIM solution, SIM uh, page, you are seeing AV sensor. So AV sensor is getting the logs constantly from the heads agent of the alien world itself. So currently we have no log source integrated with the awesome, but still we are getting the events. That means the awesome is getting the events from the local host which we do not want we are not interested in that so we'll go into the threat intelligence from the configuration and we are going to create a new policy the policy is going to discard the homegrown events so i'm going to say anything that is being reported from the av sensor the destination is to anything any 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 we are going to say in this same solution that now no, no disk assessment required, no storage, nothing, and no. It's a big no logger is no longer available in the OSM, and neither is the forwarding. And that's it. We have to name it exclude local events. I'm going to update policy. So once you have updated a policy, I mean, this is the only one policy that we have created so uh, currently. It, you can discard events or you can reprioritize the events based on the policies. And then once you have enabled or disabled policies, you have to reload the policies for them to work. Now I'll go to the sim and I will wait for a while. For example, now it's already 12.40, but the last event was from 12.39 and it has stopped. Otherwise, in within one second, there would be lots of events. I think that's pretty much from the configuration point of view. Um, these are the things that I would do if I were to um, go and deploy this somewhere. Otherwise, mostly I would just keep it as default unless there is something that is required um yeah that's pretty much it okay so other than that in the next videos we will try to install the nx log and send the logs towards the sim solution yeah we're still receiving a 1241 av sensor let me check it again 
then what was missing so we say anything that is being generated from the av sensor should not be changed this should not be taken serious yeah the policy is fine and it should work so no worries i'll just keep an eye but i know that this is the policy that should be working enabled yeah keep it enabled okay don't forget to subscribe and like my video Thank you so much.